This is the first time I am solo in the Sting S4. I checked it out with a CFI and we went and, you know, did kind of a, a, a mini check ride with it and got some tips, some tips on the area, and then uh, I went to fly it solo. I was really having trouble landing it and so you'll see that is kind of what I practice on a lot in this video. are in the green. There's 35. There's 43. Wow. And it just, it just climbs. All right. I'm going to pitch forward. Going about 75. Leaving altitude. Ensure positive rate. And flaps up. Autopilot. Autopilot mode. Okay, I don't. Autopilot. Like there we go. Disconnect. Okay, so I did not have that set right. Okay, so let's get into a climb. Oh, it's because that's on vertical speed mode. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, let's try that again. Autopilot. Oh, it's because it resets it to what your Autopilot current is. Mode. My experience so far has been with Garmin Autopilot, and with that you bug your altitude, bug your heading, and then start the Autopilot. With the Dynan, you press the Autopilot button, and it resets your bugs to your current heading and altitude. So then you dial those up to what you want, if you're climbing, for instance. Uh, so that's completely opposite of, of how the Garmin worked, and I kept being in the habit of, of bugging everything, setting it, and then having to bug it again after turning on the, the Autopilot. A thirty six hundred. So we need to descend because there's a kind of a mode. layer here. There we go. I went a couple of airfields over, and uh, it was a towered field. Uh, they don't seem to get much uh, student traffic. They didn't really seem to understand doing pattern work, but. Uh, whatever. I, I went and uh, just did a bunch of laps until I got comfortable. There was a pretty good uh, crosswind for, you know, learning how to land this specific plane. Uh, I think it was about 8 to 10 knots uh, off to the side the whole time I was there. Um, a lot of my problem was figuring out the rudder, uh, <laughs> which is a, a lot stiffer than I was used to. But, you know, it, it just took some some coordination so you'll see as i kind of go through this and go from getting it entirely wrong to getting it a little bit better
I'll end the video with this moment of Zen. Uh, it's just flying over the the valleys, you know, Shenandoah, Shenandoah Valley, and you know that that whole kind of Appalachian area. Really, really pretty. It's one of the places I've always wanted to fly over. I loved it when I motorcycled through that area. So this is this was fun. Um, this is at uh, four times the normal speed. So anyway, that's the rest of the video. Enjoy. Okay, if you're still here, you're watching the whole video. I said it was the Mona Zen and this was the end of the video, but the secret is that I actually wanted to show the first landing that I did solo in this uh, before I went over to the towered field and practiced. And I just made a mess of this. I uh, did some go-arounds at the towered field. I should have done a go-around on this one. Um, you can see I just kind of bounced it in a bunch of times. So uh, yeah, that's uh, entirely my own fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>